All right. Um, hey, everybody. My name is Jason Lovelace. I'm an outbound product manager with IBM, and I'm here today to actually talk about application networking, and I think the role that uh, platform engineering uh, has to play in that. So if you want to blame anybody for hearing about application networking today, you can blame the guys at Gartner. We were meeting with them a few months ago and talking to them about the challenges of hybrid cloud application networking, and they pointed us to some stuff they'd written saying uh, platform engineering is you know, a leading indicator of companies successfully starting to address the complexities of application networking, you should go talk to them. So I'm here today, Blaine Gardner. Um, so as a product manager, uh, I like to know a lot more, uh, a lot of tech words that I don't fully understand. So I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I was watching a YouTube video recently, and a guy kind of made the, the quote that microservices are a technical solution to a socio-technical problem. And I've linked the video here. He's a, the DoorDash guy talking about monoliths to microservices. Services. It's actually a reference to a PhD thesis, and I really like that because I view application networking as also a technical solution to a socio-technical problem, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit today. So why is application networking or application connectivity so difficult? So first, there's a technical challenge, right? Many of you are probably in your companies engaged in some journey from monoliths to microservices. If you're fully cloud native or if you're just in the data center and you're not leaving, this may not apply to you, but you know, Many companies, especially we work with at IBM, are engaged in the technical challenges of local versus network development and their evolving landscape. And really, you know, this is an IP thing. You know, at a technical level, you're trying to talk, get boxes to talk to boxes, whether those are physical or virtual. But it's deeper than that. It's actually also a business challenge. You know, the business, business KPIs, roadmaps, they don't care about boxes. They care about applications. And as we talk to customers and understanding what are your KPIs, what are the outcomes you're trying to achieve in moving from a legacy state to a modernized state, and they want to talk about time to value. And I know that everybody here deals with the time constraints and expectations where business people are pushing you to achieve things, right? Because at the end of the day, it's, it's about the money. But but at the deepest level, you know, networking also faces the human challenges uh, of, you know, whether you're in an infrastructure ops networking team or you're app dev, dev ops, right? We got to recognize that those groups have very differing incentives. Application and dev ops teams are incented to move quickly, right? To deliver time to value. But the other teams, ops and networking security, are incented to move slowly because the whole goal is ensure compliance, reduce risk, ensure uptime, reduce outages. And so it is these differing incentives that at the end of the day, I mean, platform engineering teams are a function that deals with things at all of these levels. You deal with technical, business, and the human challenges of solving these problems. And the best thing we've come up with up to this point is tickets, war rooms, and retros, right? That's how we end up digging out of these holes. So how can we think differently about solving this? So as we were looking at this at IBM, especially think with our customers in the hybrid cloud, we first wanted to think about the human problem. How can we build an experience that both drives self-service, but also gives infrastructure ops security teams the ability to implement control and to trust but verify when teams are trying to establish networking. From a business perspective, we have to look that this isn't just a container problem, that application-centric connectivity spans all environments. Many, many companies are still figuring out how to move from the legacy to the modernized state. And it isn't just one industry. Banking customers face very different challenges in this space than, say, like retail challenge uh, customers, right, in terms of compliance and risk. And then the technical challenges, like, you've got to clear a bar, right? We've got to make sure that we have the right technologies that are performant, resilient, that are lightweight and secure. Those are the non-negotiables. So how did we think about this? We wanted to build a product that enables application-centric connectivity across distributed environments. So from the human perspective, we built a control plane that has policies and guardrails that allow network teams to set up what resources application teams can work with and connect. And then once those guardrails and policies are set up in terms of named resources, uh, um, application teams can set up connectivity in just a matter of minutes. And as their application 
conditions change, they can continue to ensure that things stay connected. No war rooms, blameless retros required. And we wanted to make sure this is a fully API-enabled technology so company or individuals and groups can work the way they want to work. This isn't just CLI, but it's fully API-enabled that allows you, know, you to work whatever your deployment tools are. From a business perspective, we've built a technology that doesn't just work in containers. It works just as comfortably in VM, bare metal, a edge, and even we're piloting right now with our mainframe customers. The reality of legacy applications that are on their way to being modernized is they exist at the same time across many of these technologies. And while there are a lot of mesh technologies out there, they don't really tackle this problem of enabling, making it just as easy to connect in bare metal and VM and mainframe as it is in a container. And last but not least is the technical. So at IBM, we're sponsors of the Scupper open source. I'm in IBM. We work with Red Hat very closely on this. So I invite you to find out about Scupper. It's got all the right technologies. We support load balancing, service discovery, tuning. And most importantly, from a security standpoint, you set this up at layer seven. It completely abstracts away the underlying physical network and allows you to micro segment your applications to reduce attack plane. So we invite you to come out. We also have a tabletop out here. We'd love to give you a demo. But more importantly, I'm an outbound product manager. I'm not a sales guy. I would love to talk to platform engineers over the next couple of days and really understand what are your problems? What are the KPIs and the outcomes and the metrics that you're tied to where application networking or the ability to drive faster development velocity is something that you're interested in and what are the barriers to that? And be able to take that back to my product team. I'll make sure that this is available. There's lists. Uh, there's links to the Scupper open source project. That is my email. I, I always love to hear from end users and stuff because uh, we're really excited about this. It's a unique way to tackle this problem, and I want to talk to as many potential users as possible. That's all I got.